quite uh, like to thank all the members of our final panel. And, and now uh, Chris and I have uh, the honor and privilege of uh, making a special presentation. Thank you all for, for sticking around for this. Um, the Toronto ABI Network and Thompson Rogers are honored to be able to recognize uh, a true success story. Uh, Toronto raised one of our own. Uh, it's, uh, it's rare that we get an opportunity to uh, recognize somebody like Dr. Peter Rumney, and so we thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. Uh, aside from being a native of Toronto, Dr. Rumney completed uh, much of his medical training here. He uh, went to the U of T Medical School. He did his family practice uh, residency through U of T in Sunnybrook. Uh, he completed his pediatric training at Dalhousie University and also at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. And he began his clinical experience uh, at the then named Ontario Crippled Children's Centre my how far we've come in terms of the way that we even name our, associate, our locations these days. Um, he then moved to the Hugh McMillan Rehab Center, as it was then called, uh, where he was a unit physician and he then became the program director of the uh, head injury rehab program there. Today, as most of you know, uh, Dr. Rumney is the director of the brain injury rehabilitation team at Holland Bloorview Kids Rehabilitation Hospital. Uh, he's been Dr. Rumney has become known as a preeminent force in the field of acquired brain injury and adolescent rehabilitation. Uh, Dr. Rumney is also an associate professor at the University of Toronto. Uh, he is the director of the Center for Leadership and Brain Injury at Sick Kids Hospital. And if that's not enough to keep him busy, uh, he's a clinical team investigator at Blurview Research Institute. Many of you will recall that last year, uh, Dr. Rumney presented a very informative and, and insightful uh, talk at our back to school conference where he tried to dispel some of the uh, common misconceptions about the rehabilitation of adolescents uh, following a brain injury. And for anyone who was there last year to hear it, it was an, an excellent speech. Uh, many of you may not know, however, that uh, behind the scenes, Dr. Rumney has been uh, a staunch supporter of the rights of catastrophically injured adults as well as children. He's devoted hundreds of hours uh, behind the scenes attempting to educate politicians, uh, the superintendent of insurance, members of FISCO, uh, those sitting on the catastrophic impairment panel about brain injury and brain injury rehabilitation. Somehow, among all of those things that he does, uh, he also finds time for his wife, Shelley, who is a special education teacher at Blurview, uh, his two children, who are now young adults, and I understand uh, a number of pets, including a couple of uh, corgis, and this I found fascinating, because I don't know what one, what one of these is, but an African pygmy hedgehog. <laughs> so uh, we cannot really say enough about the contribution that Dr. Rumney has made to the head injury community. Uh, we're proud that he stayed in, in Toronto and close to home uh, to be a, a force in the head injury field. Uh, we're proud to work with him. Uh, we're proud to honour him today. And we'd like uh, to present something to Dr. Rumney in recognition of all that he's done for the head injury community. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Peter Rumney. Dr. Rumney, I'll give this to you, it's heavy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, just briefly, uh, I've worked with you since 1999 when I started the network, so 14 years, That's and cool. have the privilege of uh, knowing you for that long and uh, really see you as a uh, passionate leader, um, an advocate, and um, you've always got gadgets, and it's really cool. <laughs> and uh, he's always been the one to, you know, uh, have a database and be very aware of tracking uh, not only uh, patients that he sees, but their outcomes as well. And, um, you know, someone said to me, oh, what, what is this? Is, is Dr. Romney retiring? And, you know, a really scared look on their face, and unless you have a secret that I don't know. I said, no, he's not retiring, but you know what? Why do we have to wait until these life events happen? Let's celebrate the successes and celebrate the contributions of leaders like Dr. Rumney. So we're so happy to be able to do that today. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Uh, I'm a little intimidated by this um, for a number of reasons. Um, as a pediatrician, too many sharp points. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for this, this honor. Uh, my apologies because there are many, many people I really should be thanking. And I'm, uh, those who work with me closely will know that I'm terrible with names. I have name dysnomia. Uh, and I think part of its reason for this is that the center has changed its name five times since I started there. And so I know where it is, but I never know what it is when I get there. So my biggest thanks is really to the team at Holland Bloorview Kids Rehab Hospital now. Um, it's the team that has taught me. It is the team that does the work. They support us. Uh, they are the passionate ones. They are the ones who are moving things forward. Um, and I, I think of a lot of people that I've learned from, the nurses. Bev, of course, is my right hand, uh, runs the clinic, remembers all the par parents and all the patients, and is teaching me <clears throat> as much as I get to teach the families. There have been past nurses like Hamish and Phil who first got me involved and Lee, who does the, uh, the day program now. I think about uh, Dr. Bigger, who brought me into the center, and he was the first one as a pediatrician who said, we gotta take this old model of healthcare that we have in our rehab hospital, that you just have a physician and a team, and they fix the parts, and then they send you home. He says you need a program, you need people who develop an expertise, and he ended up hiring the key people who are now the leaders within Holland Bloorview Kids Rehab. So it's his vision that <clears throat> I think we have to thank. Also, there are other uh, clinicians who I've learned a great deal from. You honored Jane Staub uh, recently. Jane was the first sort of senior psychologist who was on the brain injury rehab program back in 78 when it started. Um, I think she figured I was a new guy on the block when I started in 87. She kind of waited around to see if I would stay because there had been a huge turnover of staff. So after about five years, she figured, well, maybe he actually means what he says. So, uh, but she was really good at working with us and advocating for services at the provincial level at the Ministry of Ed level and the like. So there's now a small platoon of therapists, neuropsychologists, most of the pediatric neuropsychologists in Southern Ontario have passed through the doors, speech language pathologists, OTs, PTs, social workers, and the like. There's also the colleagues in the community, the GTA Rehab Network, people like Rika who started it, yourself and all your colleagues, the Ontario Neurotrauma Foundation, which really bootstrapped, I think that's the term, started from the ground up the rehab research that is now occurring across Ontario, and they've been able to lever that, so we're getting <clears throat> good research with colleagues in Quebec, BC, and everywhere else. So I, I think the work Corinne has done. Obaya, we talked about a little earlier, I was befriended by Ray Rempel and his wife when it first started. Got to know Barry Willer and whatever it takes. Uh, John Kumpf, and it just keeps going, the, the great work that Obaya is doing and continues to do. I also think of some of my past colleagues, and I'm kind of glad I got this now because some of my colleagues have passed on far too early. People like Jane Gillette, people like Tammy Kagan Kushner, Mark Ilvesacker, the grandfather of pediatric rehab for children and adolescents in all of North America, and we lost him just a little while ago. All of them became friends and colleagues, people who would actually pick up the phone when you called and answer your letters. So I'm very thankful for everyone who is in this world. The fact that we do collaborate, we don't fight we do share information, we share colleagues, we share what we have to do because the work is bigger than us. And I just thank you and I hope we can keep doing this. Thank you very much.
omission in my remarks that I'll add while you're sitting is that uh, I don't have check in hand now, but we will be making a donation in uh, Dr. Remini's honor to the, I don't, I don't know the name either, at the Blurview Foundation. I think they retained that name, but the, the foundation associated with Holland Blurview Kids Rehabilitation Hospital. Just uh, a couple of small pieces of uh, housekeeping before we invite you all to the cocktail party. First of all, first and foremost, thank you all for coming. Uh, these conferences would not be a success without uh, your attendance. We hope that uh, you found the conference informative and valuable. Uh, we do want you to share your comments with us because we do take those seriously and we use those comments to try to uh, develop programs that uh, respond to your needs. So please take a, a moment to uh, complete the evaluation forms uh, that are uh, in your binder and you can just either leave them at your table or there I think might be some boxes outside that you could leave them in. Um, secondly, uh, I would like to thank a couple of people who are instrumental in bringing this conference to you. Um, Carissa has, and her team have spent uh, hours and hours putting together this conference. As Craig told you at the outset of the conference, uh, most of the program content for this conference was put together by the Toronto ABI Network. Uh, they arranged all of the speakers and, and arranged uh, uh, the, uh, the agenda for today and uh, the amount of hours that it takes to put together a conference that has run as seamlessly as this one has, uh, I can't tell you, and we can't thank uh, Carissa enough for that. So Carissa, thank you very much. We have a little, uh, little bouquet of flowers for you. Thank you for, for all that you've done. And the other person from our office, I don't know if she's here, but Jenny Guest, uh, uh, Jenny uh, works with our marketing director, Joe Pelleggi, and uh, Jenny has also spent uh, a number of hours uh, helping put together this conference, put together all of the, uh, the uh, presentations, made sure that everything ran smoothly today. So uh, I don't see her here, but we would certainly like to thank Jenny for all of her efforts. So thank you again for attending. Please uh, join us for some refreshments uh, outside, and we'll see you again next year. <laughs>